Hey, two, two, three students, just me, your friendly professor, here to give you a couple examples of things we talked about in chapter one. First, just a visual representation of what is anatomical position. Remember, that is standing upright, feet together, palms forward. Very important that you remember, palms are forward in anatomical position. You're looking at me right now in a frontal plane, a frontal section. This, of course, would be sagittal view or a sagittal section. It's really tough to make an example of the transverse section without cutting myself in half, and I don't want to cut myself in half for this video lesson. The main point, however, of this little snippet is to talk about homeostasis. So remember, homeostasis is the tendency of an organism to keep a relatively constant internal environment. That state of dynamic equilibrium within a normal range around a set point. So, as I do my best impression of Simone Biles on a balance beam, homeostasis is where an organism tries to keep itself around some sort of set point. When I can do it myself, that's intrinsic or auto-regulation. When an organ or an organ system is able to regulate itself, intrinsic or auto-regulation. However, lots of times an organ or an organ system can't do it. So we get out of balance and then somebody has to help us like the nervous system. The nervous system is one of the body's two primary extrinsic regulators. So when an organ or an organ system can't regulate itself, it needs extrinsic regulation. So let's say, for example, I lose my equilibrium again, and I might be helped by another organ system, like the endocrine system. This is an example of extrinsic regulation as well. So remember, the two primary extrinsic regulators are the nervous system and the endocrine system. In all these examples I just gave, we're talking about negative feedback. This is where we go back toward the set point, back to normal. If, however, we have one of those rare examples where homeostasis is disrupted and we amplify the change to homeostasis, that would be positive feedback. Make sure you consult the video lesson for more details on that. Positive feedback, very rare, but can make things happen very, very quickly. So, I will see you in the next video.